I am eternally exploring my personal style on this channel but there's a couple of common themes that seem to run through all of these videos and that is chic, comfy, casual, if I can try and hit those marks, it's a good day. So I hope you enjoy uh, these outfits that are coming up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more outfits during the week um, that don't make the cut in this video. Uh, but they're still really cool. I post quite a lot. I post my outfits more than anything. My slightly dirty mirror and the sunlight is absolutely killing me. But all black look as promised. I still love this slightly shorter ribbed jumper i think it was from like a random website like romwe or like shein back in the day when i was use doing loads of hauls for them but i kept it because it's such a nice quality knitted jumper i have a new pair of jeans which again you would have seen in hopefully by now my like straight leg jeans try on video where i kind of tested a few of this kind of cool girl basic style of jeans okay i'm kind of blinded by the sun so hopefully i'm in full frame but this is the all black look um via Spiga boots as always these are my favorite as i explained in the video i sized up in all of the jeans that i tried on because they were all rigid denim because i feel like the fit just looks a lot better and slimming overall you get a little bit of what i like to refer to as uh the chic creases which don't really happen when a pair of jeans are bet onto you these jeans have a little bit of extra room but they still fit nice and snug on the waist i think i'm gonna run with the bucket bag to Today and no surprises for what jacket I'll be going for because it is super cold still in New York it does so much it's so extra and um, yeah I'm definitely gonna try and get my friend to take a little picture of this outfit because I think the whole look together is super chic I don't know I feel like it's been so long since I wore like an all black look and I know you're probably rolling your eyes and be like Tara come on I you wear black all the time but I genuinely feel like I've not gotten my wear out of the color black this winter so I'm trying to make up for it with this look but I think it's very appropriate for where we're going it's kind of a professional event prime example of real life being so different to what I see on the selfie camera berets look so much more straightforward and nice in real life but then you try and take a cute selfie or a video and you look insane this outfit quite a lot in my last vlog it's just been one of my go to's um i also have a jacket on top which i feel like is what really makes the look special but i just wanted to show you guys what was underneath i have a top shop basic t-shirt boyfriend t-shirt a old mango well like you know a couple of months ago um mango coat again it's like a knitted fabric really nice layer um and then my and other stories trousers which i love so much these are like the perfect slightly wider leg masculine fit trousers and then dad trainers as usual because i've been bopping around all day as per instagram i pretty much have not taken off this coat this is how i wear it without the belt without it cinched in just really loose very like masculine like and it's just one of my like favorite tomboy outfits lots of layers super practical and warm it's just a very comfortable outfit it's the kind of outfit where i feel sort of put together if i run into anybody i just filmed a video so there's so much shit on my bed only got two seconds literally to show you my outfit because i'm already super late everything just ran over today hair was super greasy after boxing last night so i kind of threw it up with a little clippy in the back but i actually really like my hair like this like really loosely um up yeah we've got a bit of a off-white stone cream monochrome look going on i'm gonna back up real quick and talk you through where everything is from blazer is an oldie but a goodie from mango maybe like a year ago still love it it's off this blazer it's a crepe but it hangs really nicely like it's got a weight to it it doesn't look uh cheap or anything like that and it's just such a like classy color i love it so i've got a black t-shirt on which is new from mango i really like this cut i probably would have got them in a medium if i was to rebuy them so that this kind of it's a bit more baggy around here and kind of looks like flows a bit more effortlessly for my new and other stories jeans i've been dying to wear these i've been collecting some really nice denim denim edit and uh, that's what i was filming today so if you haven't checked it out do it was up a week or two ago i'm not quite sure when this video is going up but um if you like my uh, taste in denim definitely check that out i've really refreshed my denim side of my wardrobe so i'm very happy with these i would like to say that i'm taking a really fancy bag but i'm not it's going to be the good old whistles laptop bag for me because i am working today so this fits all of my chargers my laptops it's their verity bag 
um, from Whistles. I think they did make this a staple. I don't know if it's still available, but I have it for years and it's still going really great quality. Public version of me versus my pre-change true form. You guys know I am partial to a bit of this layering up of the same color. I think it is such an easy way to look instantly chic. The issue is trying to find tones and shades of monochrome and neutral colors that actually match, but I think this is pretty close. I got my merch tea on under this from the Mustards or a Jenny Mustard and David. Coffee is a drug, I wholeheartedly agree. But on top is one of my favorite knitted jumpers. It's an oldie from H&M. I think I got it maybe two years ago now, but I love the fit. I have a very short sort of torso. So this sort of hip length sweater is kind of like the ideal length for me. It's really kind of chic, boxy cut and the knit is so nicely done. It is kind of a real wool blend, it washes well and it's never sort of pilled up or anything like that. So, and then this is kind of what we have going on here. Okay, this is the look top to bottom. Um, I talked you through these jeans a little bit. So yeah, nothing fancy, complete high street look. Oh, I also have some of these satin hair ties, which are kind of difficult to show you guys, but I got them in a pack of two from ASOS and they're really good value as well. So. Well, hello there, another day where I stood in front of my closet for like 30 minutes trying to figure out what to wear, but ended up going very casual. I'm super happy about it. I've half done my makeup. I'm gonna show you my outfit super quick because I'm rushing out the door. Um, it's a bit of a Friday roundup day, a little bit of everything, meeting everyone. I don't wanna be late. So uh, here's my look for running around today. Nothing like a big oversized sweater, big old sleeves, huge extra turtleneck. There's just something about it that just elevates even just a simple pair of jeans and sneaks. Hairwise, I've got my normal heatless waves, which I put in a lot looser last night, and I love how kind of like low key they look. Again, a uh, tutorial is on my Instagram highlights. Guys, literally I've not done my hair with heat in like eight or nine months. I am obsessed. I feel like the lens on this camera is so wide, it always makes my bottom half look super stumpy. I love these And Other Stories jeans, but they've started like pulling right on the crotch here. And I don't know why, because there's loads of space in them, but I think they're just a little tight across my hips. I've got my Saint Laurent trainers on again, which have been getting a ton of wear lately. I've also broken them in a bit better. I got them from Farfetch and uh, when I first got them, it was a little, the arch felt a little high on them, but they've uh, really flattened out now and they're super comfortable. I think somebody asked me, were they comfortable recently? And yeah, they are. With it warming up, I'm so scared that I'm not gonna get enough wears out of this beautiful jumper. So hence why I've busted it out today. It's my gorgeous little mango oversized knit. Look at these sleeves and that ribbing. Like honestly, mango is the one for me in terms of like elevated, high street pieces. The thing about this jacket is there's loads of room for like my huge sleeves, which is kind of the battle sometimes, actually finding jackets that can fit over big knit pieces like this. So yeah, today's look, I am gonna go before I'm late, again, for everything. <laughs>